Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your friendly neighborhood little egghead back with you. Just in case you're wondering, this is me until, you know, March basically now. But welcome back to a new vlog. I'm in a very good mood today, which is surprising considering we are like in the middle of lockdown. I don't know how we're all doing this. It's a lot, but I'm actually in a very good mood today. I think it's because I had an unscheduled breakdown on Wednesday. It's Friday today. That also might be contributing to the good mood. I also just had some packages arrive, which I am so happy about. So happy. But yeah, today I am excited to just be home and get some stuff sorted. That is basically the theme of today and this weekend. I really wanna do, I mentioned it in my morning routine, which will have been not the last video I uploaded, the video before. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. I really enjoyed filming and watching that vlog back and I don't normally enjoy it watching vlogs back but I said in that, that I really want to do an updated like beauty maintenance little segment maybe at some point which I think I might do in this vlog because I am in need as I said in that video I am in need of the beauty maintenance I am just dying to paint my nails uh, my hands have had a bit of a tan mishap honestly I was like washing my face this morning with my face halo in Ryan's little mirror in his bathroom and all I could see was like my face and then my hand like my fingers especially the tan has just like stuck to them I used a spray which I normally use and it normally works fine because I remember to wash the tan off I did not remember to wash the tan off. I look stupid, but we're all just gonna have to laugh at it because it is so funny, like it's so stupid. So yeah, I'm in need of beauty maintenance, but what I was about to say is I'm really excited to make my nails and I'm gonna show you the color that I use because I actually get asked that a lot. I only own like one nail polish. So that's gonna be a lot of the focus for my weekend. I'm excited to spend the weekend with you. You can see literally how chill my weekends are because I literally do nothing. I lounge around all day watching TV series, which at the moment are Scandal and Fear the Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, very slow, season four. Not loving so far, but I'm gonna persevere. And then in the evening we have food and I have a rosé and it's just great. I love weekends, so that's probably why I'm in such a good mood because it's Friday. I've had some things arrive for a reel that I'm filming which is scandal themed and I'm sure now that I've said that, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. So keep an eye out for that. I can't show you any of that quite yet, but I'm gonna make you wait for the reel basically. But yeah, I don't know if I'm filming that today or next week basically because I've got so much to get through admin wise today that I don't know if I'll have time, but so excited for that and all of the things. Basically there's like so so much cashmere and like it's just it is just everything i'm so looking forward to filming it haven't been this excited to film a reel since my zara models one if you haven't seen that definitely go and give it a watch because i feel like we all love zara here and it's something that everyone can relate to in terms of being on their website but i also have had a few things arrive from misguided i literally ripped this open and started going through it and realized that i wanted to vlog this so i kind of like got halfway and then stopped but this video does contain a paid for integrated partnership with misguided because they asked me if i would like to pick out some things and share them with you and i said yes so thank you very much to misguided for sponsoring this part of the video i'm going to sit down with you and show you these bits i'm really excited to get into it there are a few bits that I've picked out that I wouldn't normally show you guys however I've been doing like daily outfit reels recently on my Instagram if you haven't seen them definitely go and watch them one thing that I keep getting asked for the reels is like what bra are you wearing and it's not something I usually show so I actually picked out a few from misguided because all of my stuff is like super super old and I also I know it's sickening but Valentine's Day is coming up and I picked out a few bits to potentially wear because we're just gonna go like I'm not normally a Valentine's Day -y person when I was like fully like single, I would actively like decline dates on Valentine's Day. I didn't want it. It was so cringe. I couldn't deal. But being in lockdown, Ryan and I are literally making the most of it, literally any holiday, whatever it is, I don't care. So that is where we are at today. I'm gonna show you what I picked up. We're gonna choose my date night outfit together, hopefully. <laughs> I have from Jordan's skinny syrups that one I put that in my hot chocolate and it's so good it's like the Starbucks s'mores hot chocolate I really miss going and buying overpriced hot chocolates I'm not gonna lie okay I am gonna start off 
with a couple of coats, which I pulled out the bag straight away because I was like, I really want to try these on. First up is this little like peachy, nudie colour bun. I love this. This is going to be like my perfect spring bomber jacket for when I'm out on walks. Lauren is going to love this. I know she's going to be editing this and be like, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's almost like uh, it reminds me of brushed cotton when they like peach something and the material basically like goes really, really soft and feels really lovely. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So just this with like some simple leggings, like really nice for like every day, nothing like too crazy. If you just love bomber jackets, I think this would also look lovely with like a pair of blue jeans in the spring. For me, I keep them more as a sports luxe kind of vibe, but it's just, it is so lovely. It's like more of a crop, I would say as well, which I really like. I'm very excited to show you that on. This is going to accompany me on all of my walks, of which there are so many. And then... We have a lovely one for spring and for the very rainy winter walk kind of days. This one's got a very practical hood, which I'm really happy about. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that I've been after a sleeping bag coat. Like sleeping bag, is that, that's what I call them in my head. I don't, quilted coat. I've been looking for a really long quilted coat for so long. I tried on one back in December and it was black. It just looked crazy on me. And this one doesn't look as crazy, which I really like, even though it's definitely very long. I really like the white. I think it works with the fact that I will probably wear like an all black outfit underneath. This will look so cute on walks. And then with like a crossbody bag across the middle and they really like help to like just pull it in a little bit more. I'm really looking forward to wearing this on my next walk with Lauren. I'm feeling like a toasty a little marshmallow. This one when it arrived also looks like the way it had been packaged, it was really like tightly packaged. And it looked like, you know, when you buy a new like duvet or pillow and it's all like wrapped up and I was like, this is so appropriate. This is just such a vibe. It already feels like I could sleep in it. And I really rate that. So very excited for that one. Those were kind of two anomalies from safety. There's probably some other really rogue things that don't fit the theme that I was originally going for with this order, which was kind of like date night spring additions to my wardrobe. Okay, moving on to my potential date night options. This is gonna look a little bit crazy. So hopefully I will remember to put a picture of this on screen so that you can see what this is supposed to look like. So it looks a bit, little bit crazy here, but basically these bits, it's almost like you've got a bralette on over the top of the shirt dress and it kind of like wraps around. And I thought it looked really cool. And I loved this color. It's a very like muted blue tealy tone. And I love like the color teal. It was my favorite color when I was really, really little. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. We'll see, hopefully it won't be too long. It could be, but it could still be cute. But I'm really loving shirts at the moment. And this shirt dress, I just thought it was so cool. And I really liked the like bralette style kind of like wrap around part of it. I just thought it would look really, really cool. But yeah, I thought that could be a cute contender for date night. Going for some bits that are like a little bit less traditional i haven't picked anything that's like pinky or anything like that for this haul like i've definitely got a slightly different color palette to normal but i'm really enjoying that also rogue item but i picked up this really cute little ribbed knitted body because you guys know i love like a mock kind of like turtleneck high neck black body honestly wear them so much we then have this cute little knitted sweetheart neckline midi dress i believe this is or is this maxi mid axi <laughs> oh this, this could be a bit long on me we will see but i thought it'd be a really lovely one for a date night at home just like really comfy but also it's fitted which is something that i love however it is in tall which i did not realize at the time of purchasing and might have made an error so we will see how that comes out on me it might be a bit too long oh my gosh this is so cute I love this. This is so pretty. I actually have a pair of trousers, which I might see if I can pair with this. They're basically like a legging, but they have a slit and then a zip at the bottom. And this could potentially look really cool with them rather than, you know, going for like a typical jean look, potentially. I'm going to see. We will see. This actually has like almost netting at the bottom of it, but it gives the top this really lovely kind of flicky outy shape so pretty i love it we then have this knitted top which is a high contender i just love it this is the prettiest color and i love the knit of this it's so gorgeous ah uh, i just absolutely love it as you can tell there's a real like color palette that i'm gravitating towards at the moment i'm really enjoying my blues i'm really enjoying mixing blues and whites as well so i might 
pair these with like a white pair of jeans. I think that would look really beautiful. I love a blue and white color palette. It's one of the reasons that like a white shirt and blue mom jeans is one of my all time favorite outfits, like a go to. It is just an absolute classic. And I really like the reverse of that as well, like blue on top, white on the bottom. So we'll see how that works out. I love the amount of sweetheart necklines that are going on at the moment. It's very Valentine's-y. It's like a really nice nod without having to go full on like red or like pink or anything like that. And just in case all else fails, I have this lovely long line knitted cardigan with a tie waist, which you could kind of make a little bit more of a dress or you can put like a little cami underneath and then a pair of skinny jeans. Very easy to wear right now. I will get a lot of wear out of this because I'm just home all the time. I love a long cardigan. I just think they're like one of the easiest ways to be cozy and warm at home, but still look really pulled together. By the way, I ordered everything in a size eight for reference, literally everything. And then finally we have some cute little bras. These are very sheer, so I don't actually know how I'm gonna be able to show you these without being demonetized. I will see what I can do. We might have to put some emojis in some places. Yeah, these are really cute. I just love a white bra, but I also loved this. I just thought was stunning, like this color. I don't think I've ever had a bra in this color before it's so pretty and i think this would look gorgeous under like a white shirt when you get like a little pop of it kind of poking through i really i think that would look so so cute yeah that color is just just stunning i also have matching bottoms for both of those i think they're just going to be the cutest sets and then i also got this one as well which i thought would be perfect again under a white shirt i think it's so cute when you've got a really pretty bra underneath like a white shirt or even like underneath a kind of wrap around cardigan i think they can look really cute when you just get a little bit poking through i think those will be really great for layering very excited to have something that i can link you guys to when i do my getting ready reels at the moment because everyone goes nuts for the bras and i've literally had them for like two three four sometimes more years i'm a real like collector of underwear and when i get some good ones i like treat them well and i just don't let them go but yeah they actually do soft bra versions of these as well which i think i might have to pick up because i really like the look of them i'm pretty sure they do all of those in like a no wire kind of scenario and they just look so comfy and so lovely so i'll link to those as well if they are still available but yeah i'm gonna try these on now and we can all decide what my date night outfit should be together i'm very excited now that is a color palette Oh my goodness, I love this. I think this could be the one, you know, you guys. I love this floaty little peplum. It's so cute. It's really feminine, but I love the fact that the top is white, so it just doesn't feel too over the top to me. I feel like this would stay in my wardrobe for years and years to come. It's so pretty, so pretty, so floaty, and it cinches in my waist at the perfect point. I absolutely love it, but is it a contender for Valentine's Day date night outfit? Let me know. Oh my gosh. The long cardigan is so cute. I love it. I love it. This is perfect. This is exactly what I need right now. I love the fact that it has a tie waist. None of my other long cardigans have a tie waist and I just think it is amazing. So you could like have it as a dress if you wanted to, if you were feeling a little bit bold and you were happy to pin it kind of like in little places, you could have it as a dress. You could also just have it as a normal cardigan or just tied like this over your jeans with like a pair of boots in spring, I think would be such a vibe. You can also just throw this over your loungewear when you're at home as well. So it's just a really lovely versatile easy piece to have in your wardrobe i would highly recommend this blue and white is just an elite color combination and i will not be argued with on this i love it the top is definitely very versatile you could wear it with so many different jean colors but this is just gorgeous i do think with a blue jean though it could work really nicely and be almost like monochromatic and i really love that as well i love how far out it comes on the shoulders but the fact that it doesn't slip off it just stays there so comfortably they've really got the cut around the shoulders right so it sits really really well i'm so impressed with this i love the knitted texture of it as well it just feels so lovely i love this i can't wait to put this on my instagram it's so cute so what do we think i feel like this is going to be a bit of a controversial one it's lovely i love how different it is i literally haven't seen anything else like this that is on sale at the moment i love the black and the blue color combination, it's gorgeous. I personally think number one, my makeup is not going with this because I've got like a pinky eye look and it's not, <laughs> there's a real clash going on right now. I also think my hair with this dress is just not really a vibe. I'd probably either go middle part, but more of a like mid bun or maybe like hair down 
just not sure like i love the dress but something about it on me is not vibing and i can't work out what it is i do think it's a lovely dress and i think in terms of like an alternative like date night option which isn't like typically like valentine'sy i think this is gorgeous i love this dress i think it might be the dark horse of this order for me it's so cute i love the sweetheart neckline and i think it being in a very like finely knitted cute little maxi kind of dress just makes it so casual but so feminine at the same time it's just such a lovely one it's a nice nod to like valentine's date night but without being too much and it's so comfortable as well this is the perfect like staying home i want to be comfy date night option i think in my opinion it is in the tall range which is such a lol on me like five foot two what the hell but this is where it comes down to I really love it. So yeah, this one is actually like a real high up there contender for me personally. Here we go. This is the only way I can do it without us having to like stick an emoji over me. This one is so pretty. I just, I love the floral lace on it. It's so, so gorgeous. And it fits really well as well. I got this one in a 34C. I actually ordered a couple of sizes because I wasn't sure. You know, sometimes a 34C in one shop is a very different size to like another shop. Yeah, so I thought I'd do a little experiment. This one is actually a 34B fits so much better which is good to know i love the color of this i am absolutely obsessed these are actually really comfortable as well given they have a little bit of underwire here honestly i just feel like i'm wearing like a very soft bra i love it this one is so pretty i think if you could just see it under a white shirt just as like a subtle pop kind of poking out beyond the collar this would be absolutely gorgeous i also think maybe under my black wrap cardigan as well this would look so cute if i could just make sure it's a bit more open and like low cut when i wrap it this would just be absolutely perfect underneath so yeah, very happy with these. I actually can't decide which one of these are my favourites. Let me know your favourite in the comments. I'm kind of still leaning towards the bluey green, but the black is a real contender. This jacket is so cute. I am so cute right now. And also, I'm very happy because my makeup finally matches something in this order. But yeah, the little pink jacket is so cute. Fits like a dream. And it's going to look so cute when I'm on my walks in the spring. I could wear it now, it's just a little bit lighter than what I would normally go for. Normally I'm like, sleeping bag, chic, big toasty fluffy marshmallow vibes, you know? So I am one cozy little burrito right now. I love this. Can't wait to go on my next walk. I am prepared. <laughs> Me and this coat are gonna be very good friends. Let me tell you. I've also got on the body underneath, by the way, which is literally a pretty much exact example of how I would style this outfit. Trainers, leggings, high neck black knit, my little bag, perfect winter walking attire. This is the black ribbed body. You can't really see it that well. That wonderful winter light that I'm currently experiencing is really screwing me over, but I'm very happy with it. I love a fitted black high neck ribs body. This one also has like a little bit more length. I've just kind of like tucked it down a little bit more. But if your body is slightly longer, this one would be an absolute winner. If you do find that sometimes bodies just aren't quite right for the length of your body, I would definitely look into this one. So I'm having some lunch because I realized that it's 3.30 and I still haven't eaten today. I'm also sending files and editing some reels. I honestly don't know where the day has gone. Like the sun is about to set. So me filming my reel today is not happening and I'm really sad. So basically I think I'm going to be working tomorrow because I really want to get it filmed. I'm excited to wrap the day up, go back to Ryan's, chill out, maybe have some rosé. I will see you in a little bit once I have kind of like wrapped everything up here in my house. It is just covered in clothes for this reel so I need to just kind of like get out of here because it's stressing me out. That's one of the reasons I can't wait to have finished this reel. I want to be able to have my house back. Good morning everybody, it is Saturday. Have my little fur baby with me today. We're back here for the weekend and I'm really excited. I'm excited to just have some TLC time this weekend, clean the house, just like get everything sorted. I wanna have a really like delicious Sunday tomorrow where it's just like really calm and I like get to clean me and the house and it's just gonna be great. So last night after I did my admin, I actually ended up on the Zara home website for a little while and I am so excited for this order to arrive. I think it will be in the next vlog so excited i'll talk to you more about it in the next vlog because it's going to be boring with nothing to show you right now though that being said i do have a few home things to show you this weekend i'm just so excited i'm excited to get the work that i'm about to get done out of the way and then we can just all chill together it's going to be so nice this little one is already so chill we came back i got her blanket straight out from under here and uh she is loving life hopefully these frames are going to be going up here this weekend got diy rye who should be with us later this evening and i've got the command strips ready 
<laughs> for when he gets here so that I don't forget because this was meant to be done like two, three days ago. We are steamed. Honestly, videos take a hundred times longer than they used to now because normally I would be like trying on all of the individual outfits whilst Lauren was steaming. We were just like the best team. And now I'm literally like, <laughs> regret this reel so much because an Olivia Pope reel literally involves all the tailoring, which involves all of the steaming. I'm so excited because there's so many items in this that I'm like dying to actually like wear. I'm gonna keep and I'm like dying to wear. So yeah, I can't wait to have filmed this reel so that I can actually have them and like wear them without worrying about like spilling something on them. So I'm gonna get cracking and I'll be back with you in a bit. Also, look at how long the hair is getting. I'm really enjoying this length. It's just a, like a little bit more playful it's really cute and actually i'm looking forward to it being just ever so slightly longer and i think that i will just be really really happy with the length it's so close to being like ponytailable like fully like a mid ponytail without hair clips like without a dozen hair clips so i'm really excited and it looks so healthy like it's still a wash and it's still like shiny af i'm very happy with it that new carousel range is actually like doing bits it's so easy to brush like and it, we are like two days of dry shampoo in, I'm really, really impressed. black roll neck from H&M and it's so cute. Look at the sleeves. I feel like she's gonna like her Amazon one better. She likes really tight jumpers. They make her feel a little bit less anxious and more secure. <laughs> Ooh, I look like I'm in a weird horror film. <laughs> it's dark already, shocking. So I have just finished hoovering, mopping, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen. Feels really good. I really love doing like pampery stuff once the whole house is tidy because it just feels extra like chill and like I'm not thinking about things that I should have done or should do or need to do. So it's just really nice to have everything looking so tidy. I'm very happy. My rail is also very tidy, which is making me so happy. And the colors on it, like the blues from the misguided order are really popping through. I've reordered it after the shoot earlier. So it's got a mix of everything on it. But yeah, I am so excited. I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. The white misguided cardigan is like perfect Sunday outfit. And I think for Valentine's day, I've decided I'm leaning towards this top or maybe this top. I don't know, I've got my three here. I've got the dress, the top, and then the knit and I'm loving them. And I think I'm leaning towards those, but let me know 
what you think. I still need to watch the footage back actually, so I could change my mind. But yeah, lots of like neutrals, whites, blues on here. This is very springy and it's making me very happy. I also wanted to show you this before I mess up the bathroom anymore. This is from the White Company. I have been wanting something like this for so long. I love reading when I'm in the bath. I love having a rosé when I'm in the bath. I've been really wanting something that I can kind of like stack things on. Sometimes I want it to be ice cream and I need somewhere to put it. And the outsides of my bath aren't particularly big. This is actually a very very small bath which is why I actually this doesn't fit perfectly DIY Rye is gonna apparently trim it down for me which I'm so happy about because I didn't think when I ordered it that if you had a small bath and it's not like a out in the middle freestanding bath that you might need to think about <laughs> the length of this didn't think that through my friend Kate has one of these in her bath and it just always looks so luxurious and so bougie I love wooden tones in this bathroom because it really helps to like warm up all of the grey so yeah I'm so happy but we are gonna shower now before we make dinner and uh I can't decide whether I might do my nails tomorrow I feel like I want a full like watching scandal doing nothing having a bath like TLC kind of day People are gonna be like, why is he wearing that apron? Because <laughs> I'm a chef, why I'm really like dipping into my own, like I get the middle potatoes and I'm really dipping into my own potato budget here, but this is like, this is an elite activity that you can do whilst you're dishing up your roast dinner. So good.
DIY has done it again. We are gonna get the level on these later to make sure that these are actually straight because we really eyeballed the first one. I think the second one over here is much better. So not 100% sure on this one, but I'm very happy with this. I really love the whole living room setup at the moment. It just feels so cozy, but classic, but still not sure on the TV, on the wall, on the fireplace kind of situation. If anyone has any tips, advice, let me know. Have you done it? Was it a nightmare? How do you play PlayStation? Where do you plug it in? Like I wanna know. And I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing actually. I'm wearing the white cardigan from Misguided and I really like it. So this is how I've styled it. Just really, really easy, like black leggings, black top. And then I've just thrown this over the top and just tied it in a bow. Just one of those really lovely pieces to have to wear around your house. But like, it would be great worn out in the springtime as well. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I really like it. Definitely one of the little gems from the order. I also thought I'd show you quickly what I used last night. I used this to bleach my mustache. And then this is the hair mask that I used. It always makes my hair feel so soft. Really enjoying using this at the moment. I do need to reorder the purple version of this because that is so good as well. I also did a little bit of eyebrow plucking and I kind of bleached the hair around here just because I get some really dark hairs between my <laughs> eyebrow and my hairline. I was literally born like that. I also forgot I wanted to show you the nail polish I've been using this one from Rimmel which is 091 English Rose and I put about three layers of this I would say or maybe sometimes four if I'm doing like very thin coats it just gives a really lovely like French Manny style color to my nails and I've also just started to file them into like a rounded kind of almond shape so that they'll grow out into that and then I also use the Rimmel Super Gel top coat as well. Works really well and lasts so well. It actually lasts better than actual gel nails that I do at home under a UV lamp. But yeah, that is gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me and seeing what I'm potentially going to be wearing for Valentine's Day. I will vlog that and kind of vlog that weekend and kind of show you what we're up to as well. Let me know what your favorite pieces were in the comments. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you guys again in my next video.